ons dorp wil ons terug eis. We want to claim back the safety of our streets. Ons gebiede is besig om uit mekaar te val. We are tired of youngsters under the influence of alcohol, under the influence of drugs. Hulle rook, tagge, sergerekke en hulle school uniforms op winkelstoepe. And these people that's on these drugs walk all night, disturbing our peace. When you go to work, they attack you, you get robbed and hurt. And we are tired of living in fear in our own streets. Ons is die een rehabilitatie centrum in ons dorpie. Boys, the guys, they walk around, we go to work, they come, they break the houses, they check your stuff, the paraparas, they check your stuff. Kids, even if you put a bag laba on your house, it doesn't make sense because it's going to just cut the zinc at the back of your house. We're living in shakes, we don't have money, we don't have food, those brick houses. Local community activists are getting involved, pushing for community engagement to support a campaign to get police involvement in issues of crime, neighborhood security, drug dealing in the area because the police are largely useless, cowardly, corrupt. For the past three years, crime and gangsterism has taken over the streets of West Bank and with the South African Constitution, Currently in place, it protects criminals and leaves us the hard-working, loving citizens of South Africa under fear. We can be responsible for you. Is it just the ANC? In the DA? It's sad, but I have to give them a name. Want that is the two biggest political parties, which is the cause of the reason. Because they are ashamed of their power. The systemic problems that we see come from the national government level. You can't tackle, for example, gangsterism if you can't tackle the root causes of gangsterism, if you can't tackle unemployment and poverty that uh, affect young people in this province. Okay, so the so think it is hellish that we see full of sin in all the gemors. That is the right. Clearly they are responsible as the governing party in this municipality to deal with litter issues. The reality is that you have to actually do tangible things that make a difference. And if you've been in government for a while, people expect an upward trend, right? And if they don't see that upward trend, you're not doing your job and everyone knows this. The regering is a great factor, but ook ons politiediensten, hulle doen nie eindelijk hulle werk om ons te beskerm nie. If you report to police, there is no serious action that is being taken. It's taking a long process to come. You report today, they come after five days. And your things are already sold somewhere, you can't find them. The, all evidence is demolished, there is no evidence that they take from you, you see. And you can also not tackle the crime problem if you don't have control over policing in the province. And at the moment we've seen with the DA government, they've been trying to get control of policing in this province. Uh, and they've been failing at every opportunity. The, you know, the progress they've made has really been uh, abysmal, unfortunately. Those police, they are working for us, the community, to protect us. So they must do their work because they are being paid for that work. Yeah. the majority in the Cap. Maar ons moet inpas in een BEE. Hoe kan ons demografisch ingepast worden in een BEE? Wat die oorzaak is dat ons mensen die hoer jobs geleend te krijgen niet, ons krijgen niet werken. This issue of Ramaphosa, there is a lot of things that need to be fixed. He's the president, so you can see the economy of the country is deteriorating. If he is tired or if he can't fix those problems, it's better for him to step down. And you see, we can't keep putting ANC, ANC over and over again. We need fresh blood now. We need new lies from new people. You see, I think that could be better. If you shift maybe five to ten percent of the DA's votes. They have to go into coalition. The solution for the Western Cape is always going to be Cape independence. Uh, we can keep on waiting for the national government to solve our problems, or we can come together and solve our problems for ourselves. Their options when they fall below 50% next year in the Western Cape polls is they have to find some small party to keep the number of seats to govern the province. Now, Cape independence will then become a major issue because Freds Front, like uh, Cape Coloured Congress or the CIP, are independence parties. There are several of them. Ons armste armes sal altyd verarm word as ons nie Westkaap onafhankelijkheid ondersteun. Want ons gaan nog altyd aan die kortste end trek in hierdie demokratiese land van ons. Ons het geen sê in ons Westkaap nie. Do you have a problem perhaps with foreigners? People outside of South Africa? I don't have a problem with anyone. 
I only have a problem with someone when he came wrong to me. That's when I have a problem. Is that a universal opinion? I can't say I have a problem with foreigners like as such, but uh, we have no, only one problem with foreigners. They're taking our jobs. And what would you see as a solution to that? Because we are overpopulated and the land is not expanding. So the solution is they go back to their countries, then they find something to do there, like what you are doing here. You see some people, they are undocumented. So if they commit a crime, you will never find them again because you don't know their real names. You don't even know their whereabouts, where they go. What do you say to those that say you're stealing jobs as a foreigner? Me, what I know is they don't want to work. You see, they only need money. But if you have an ID, you can go wherever you want to go. Wherever you want to work, you get a job. But uh, it's a shame the way they say us, we are stealing the job. How do you respond to that? He's saying those who say foreigners are stealing jobs, they're lazy, they don't want to work. They are strong. I can say so. They are very strong. but. Is that an advantage that they must take that they are stronger than us so that they must take our jobs because they are stronger than us? Most of the truck drivers, they are foreigners. Why? Because these guys, they don't sleep. They can drive day and night, day and night, they drive, they don't mind. But now we, when I drive like six hours, when it's night, I must park at the garage. Then I must sleep, then I continue tomorrow morning. So now this boss of mine, I say, ah, no man, this guy is taking long. I have a bit of a guy is doing thrice the job as I'm doing so. That's how they're getting the jobs. The Buddha will choose the foreigner because he knows this guy he can work like any slave. work for small money. The people of Zimbabwe or whoever country is here illegally needs to go back home. The companies is to blame who appoints these people because they don't want to pay the South African guy the right. They want to pay that Zimbabwean guy that money. It's a small money and that's what they mean when they say the small money. And that is unfair. What's that? Why is it a big problem? Tuck. Tuck is a very big problem in our community. And it is hard. All types of drugs are used in our community for sale. And the drug is in the name of our community. Sometimes kids are so bold as to us on the school terrain to use these drugs to misbruik. Our young generation starts to think that this is the life we all should live. Because you are the future of South Africa as the youth sitting here around me, as the little children standing there, I just would like your opinion. What do you think of our current situation in Marmesbury, in the West Bank area, regarding what is going on now with this gangsterism? And the cyclists of armoede, misdaad and misbruik of the Wellems. For kids so young as 12, they begin to steal and steal steal and gewelddadig wees. And in all eerlijkheid can I not take them away from us, because this is all that we see in our household. This is all that we see in our community. And later we see the ideology of all that we see for others and all that we know. Where this is stigma of armed and gewelded under our children, from the generation to the generation, is drawn. This thing is not affecting only West Bank. But uh, Mama's Bay is even this side. If, for instance, uh, on Friday I was attacked. I ran. If it wasn't that I can manage to run, they would stab me and take my money and my. They, unfortunately, they take my goods. That's it. After the when you can't get the rehabilitation center, you can in a program to sit and to go to the Nerense Sakke Goed and Plekken. Uh, I think we need to take a serious action immediately. I think they must go to rehab from there. Then the government must just find something for them to do. Maybe go and call car wash or something, even community projects. So that they will keep yeah, their self occupied. occupied. So that they will get busy every time. So that because they won't do yeah, anything. Because I think now they don't have anything to do. And now they are addicted to drugs. They don't have money. So the only thing to do is to take from us. Take from they come us. From work, they take our money. We at the end of the day are the victims because of these illegal shabins and drug loads. And we need to put a serious stop and end to that. And we're going to need your help as the youth to assist the community, get involved in what the municipality of Swartland is offering on gender-based violence and on the local drug enforcement committees. We have meetings every month for solutions again on these problems. So we, we need you to come together and say, listen, we want to have the community in blue as well. We need night watch. We need to stay in that night watch. We need to patrol our own streets. At the end of the day, they won't have any force in taking over. 
these youngsters with drugs and gangsterism out towns. This is our towns. We were born here, guys. We need to I'm take care of it. Of place, exactly. Yeah. Learners is smoking Dachau in schools, and some young learners show no more respect as teachers get assaulted. Can you give an example of violence? There are two bendes in our school that have been with backstenen. One is was in a hospital, but it was a very ernstig thing. Onlangs was there where a kind iemand anders met een sker gesteek het voor die onderwijzer. Ja, die onderwijzer was zelfs so ook um, gedramatiseer. Dit is rare haarsheid, want daar is geen respect. Respect begint in minste in die huis en daar van dan moet het naar die school toe. On onderwijzers moet maar net achter oor sit, want ons landse wette beskeg en so daar die kind. Who is allowing drugs to get in? Yeah, they must deal with the measures. So those they must say. leave the youth that are taking drugs first and start to deal with those suppliers. people that are letting the drugs come in, not the suppliers. The There are other are people who are letting I can't talk. drugs to come to the suppliers. Everyone who touches that drug and takes it to the street is as much as the one who brings it in the country. Because the damage that you do is the same of the person who brings it from over a ship or it comes from an aeroplane, boys. The mere fact is it do the same damage. It's affecting our youth and it's destroying our communities. Today, the people of West Bank has gathered together and is going to sign a petition regarding our safety of gangsterism, of drug abuse, alcohol abuse, illegal drug houses, illegal shabins. We request from the local municipality to enforce bylaws as our safety depends on this. From SAPS, we request and demand them to act and deliver the same service as when households from upper class and more sophisticated area schools, because we live in this area, does not mean we are not decent, sophisticated human beings. We do have morals and values. As ons ouders rarig wil verandering in ons omgevings wil bekom, dan moet hulle klein begin, eerst in hulle eie huishoudings en dan in hulle gemeenskappe. Hulle moet die effort neem om ons as kinders aan te moedig om verder te gaan studeer, aanmoedig dat hulle meer werd is as hierdie norm. Ons hoef nie noodwendig in bendes of in geweld betrokken te word om aanvaard te word in ons eie gemeenskap nie. We request and demand more visible police, more manpower and more police vehicles. With our total population, we request and demand an urgent police substation in West Bank. We want every weekend police vehicles patrolling our streets. Every weekend, we don't want crowds standing on corners. We want shabins to be closed, illegal ones, because there's enough liquor stores that you can buy your liquor from. You must just limit your time and go buy your alcohol in front. We, the community hereby, provide a list of all the illegal shabins and all the drug houses is in this petition. We had enough. And that is our help create van dag. We will graag hee, that these bylaws are strong to be us as a community to be able to because we can't in this community anymore. Our children are We understand, demand and request court orders to remove all drug laws out of our town if they don't come to the party. We can do that, people. We have to do that. Mensen gaan maken in een crisis. 2024 op een rechte plek. Van mensen wat wil opstaan. Voor ons wat een risico is.